Hello my lovely people, welcome back to another Paper Chaser video. Today we are going to be learning how to upload your SVG files into Cricut Design Space. Once you have your canvas open, hit upload, upload image, browse, now locate your downloaded file, and here you'll see three different types of files, two SVG files and a PDF. The two SVG files are what we will be focusing on today. If you have a machine that uses a score tool, you'll choose the file that says score in the title. If not, you can use the top one here, which will create perforated score lines for you. So once we select score, we'll open it, upload the image. Now we will insert the image onto our canvas. And on here, you'll see that all the pieces are blacked out, which is completely normal. We will focus on the sidebar on this side. If we close up these groups, you'll see that there are two groups for you. One of them is the overall cut lines, which if we choose this black fill box and change it to white, you'll be able to see all of the score lines on your file. However, the score lines have not been adjusted to score. Uh, with Cricut, there is absolutely no way of importing a ready to cut and score SVG file. So you'll have to make this change manually. So once you have the top layer selected, we're going to go over and change uh, the cut to a score. And as you can see, that has changed on your canvas. Uh, the next thing that you'd want to do is to attach all of the files together with their respective score lines. So we will ungroup the groups on the side here and select your piece with its score lines and hit attach. And we will continue this throughout all of the pieces. Sorry. We'll continue this with all of the pieces that include score lines and cut lines. So as you can see, you'll see these bows, um, the mats for the curtains, and these two card mats. They're just a cut line, so you can leave that as is. And finally, the bride and the groom. So once you have that done, you are essentially ready to cut your files. So once you hit make it, you'll see that your parts are laid out onto the mat. However, if you would like to choose and select um, different colored sheets to lay your pieces on, so let's just say we want to have the two mats and the stage piece to be the same color and to be cut on the same sheet. We can select them and change the fill color. As you can see with the attached uh, stage piece here, uh, you cannot change that fill color because you've attached the score lines to that overall cut piece. So over on this right hand side, we will just select the um, basic cut layer and that will allow us to change that fill color. And once we make it, you'll see that those three pieces are uh, separated so that you can cut them on a uh, different colored sheet. However, if you take a look at it, you can see that there's extra space on this sheet. Um, and sometimes Cricut Design Space does this where they'll um, automatically put pieces onto other sheets of paper when you can definitely see that you can utilize the space to have this piece on there. So what we can do now is move the pieces side by side and select all the pieces and attach them. This way they will remain in that same configuration on the sheet and we're not wasting paper. And there we go. All three pieces laid up onto one sheet of paper. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Please uh, 
reach out to me if you have any issues with uploading your SVG files onto Cricut Design Space or whichever software you use. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you in any way, please like it and share it with someone you think may need it. Supporting my channel by subscribing is greatly appreciated, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!